Michael Guest here. Let's have a bit of a look at my new fishing weapon. This is the Yellowfin 7600 center console and what a fishing machine it is. Like all Yellowfin boats, this one has a fantastic ride, six mil uh, plate bottom, full length chine and a really sharp entry. The 7600 is powered by a big 250 V8 Mercury outboard engine. Uh, amazing torque. I've been really, really impressed with it so far. We've had some incredibly long rides, 70 nautical miles right out to the reef off Townsville. Everything from going right out chasing fish like Red Emperor and Largemouth Nanagai, Big Giant Trevally. And then the next day, we're back in, in a Barramundi empowerment, working our way around with the big electric motor at the front casting the sticks in the same boat, which is just incredible. So big centre console like this, we're Barramundi fishing one day, out on the reef the next. Like all yellowfin plate boats, this one comes standard with trim tabs, so I can really get that nose trimmed down when I'm punching into an oncoming sea. A bit more of a look at what we've got in the back here. We've got um, uh, scuppers at the back, so any water that comes in the boat will drain out um, through the scuppers. Uh, so self-draining decks, which are just uh, fantastic, and they're a one-way system, so the water can't come back in. Of course, um, ocean LED underwater lights, which we've fitted to this one, one kilowatt transducer, and an AI three-in-one transducer for our side scan and down scan, and they all go back to two Lawrence Live 16-inch units, one on the center console and one right up bow mount. So if I'm up the front lure casting, I can see what's going on. So the big girl's sitting on an aluminium I-beam trailer with dual electric brakes. Uh, tows like an absolute dream. So far I've been from my hometown in Lake Macquarie all the way to Lucinda and we're working our way back at the moment. So 27 hours that way and we're about halfway back at the moment. Tows like an absolute bullet. Speaking of towing like a bullet, it goes like an absolute rocket. Uh, up over 40 knots this package is capable of, so it's, a, it's quite quick. Being the old ex-rally driver, I don't mind that at all. Uh, transom ladder here is really good, so you can fold that down. Transom door, which just pops in and out for easy access. And get you up into the, in the fishing room at the back here. Nice high gunnels, I love that on these yellowfin boats. So really, really high gunnels, so even in, that, in those sort of really rough uh, rough conditions when you're fishing, you're fighting a big fish over the side, it's really nice to have that there. And of course, being the super keen fisherman, one of my favourite features of this boat and a lot of the uh, yellowfin boats that I've had in the past is this 10 tray tackle system here, which is just ridiculous. So you've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight standard trays, and then down the bottom you can fit two of these big mega trays at the back there, which is just ideal cutting board up the top here for preparing baits or whatever you want to do or just getting rigging sorted. Four rod holders across the back, some cup holders, an area in the back here where you've got pliers and knives and scissors and all that sort of thing. And then even a, a leader dispenser, which I actually haven't got around to putting any leader in yet, but we've got that there. Over here, we've got our big live bait tank with that glass window, and it's a really big tank. Uh, that's a crucial thing. It's got a light inside as well. But that's a crucial thing for keeping live baits nice and healthy and traveling big distances. You need plenty of room. And we've got that there. It's got a, uh, it's got a pump pickup for when you're stationary. And when you're moving along, it's got a Venturi pickup, which just flows the water in there perfectly. As you can see, there's an amazing amount of room in here. And all the space has been utilized very well. So we've got this folding striker chair here, which is comfortable. So if you you're out and about uh, just lazing around or game fishing, trolling around, got that comfy seat there. You can fold it back this way for the driver and co-driver and three passengers actually fit across there. And then that'll open up and there's a big 140 litre um, fiberglass esky in there to keep all your drinks cool or put fish in or whatever you want to do. So I've also fitted uh, eight of these exploding fish adjustable rod holders. So they're pretty cool. I can point the rod whatever direction I'd like. So there's eight of those. So with eight rod holders there, four there, I've got to do my maths here, that's 12 and then another five across the top, 17 rod holders in this boat. So plenty there. These are ideal, pull the pin, you can fold them down. So if uh, roof uh, shed height's a bit of a problem, you can soon pull those down. You can never have enough storage. So we've got full length uh, side pockets right down the side of the boat, which is just ideal. I've got nets and outriggers and everything will just fit in there. Having a look at the console, not, you're not jammed in here, plenty of room once again. So um, we've got the, got the stainless steel steering wheel here, 16 inch. Uh, Lawrence Live unit, as I've already mentioned. Um, everything's nice and comfortable, ergonomic, easy to get at. I've even got a phone, one of those ScanStruck phone chargers here, which are just fantastic. Marine radio, binnacle control, trim tabs are there, my mercury gauges, everything's where I need it to be, and even more storage up underneath the console. 
The boat comes with a 380 litre fuel tank, which is a fantastic amount of fuel for doing all sorts of things. Uh, as I mentioned before, we're doing some big runs out to the reef. Uh, one day there, we, we completed about 170, around 170 nautical miles with the 250 V8 on the back. So, so ample fuel, which is great for doing those big reef runs. Uh, or whether you're into game fishing and you're spending days out on the canyons chasing blue marlin or tuna or whatever you're into. So plenty of fuel there, which is really important. We've even added a, uh, a lean seat up the front here, so if you're casting poppers out on the reef for giant trevally or chasing kingfish on stick baits, or just want something to lean against when you're dropping a bait over the side, uh, that, that's an ideal thing to add. Uh, mentioned before, we've got the big 16 inch live screen at the front there, so I can see what's going on. A heap of storage underneath, uh, underneath the casting platform here. Big checker plate steps that come up and actually checker plate right throughout. So non-slip, easy to clean, give it a bit of scrub down when you finish fishing. And to top it off, I've got a big anchor well here, plenty of chain and rope and all that. They haven't used it yet because I've got the, the new 87 inch uh, electric motor on there, the Mincator on the front. Uh, so it's a 36 volt system, 112 pound, and it'll hold this boat in all sorts of conditions. We've had in some quite windy, rough conditions so far and uh, had it parked there perfectly. I do like fishing at night, so I've got uh, three Lumatec light bars on this boat, one at the front here, and then two at the back to light that great big back area up as well. Open the back hatch here, so I've got uh, twin Master Volt uh, 90 amp hour AGM batteries at the back, so they're my house batteries. Um, uh, battery switches over here, so I can run one, two, or both. And then at the front of the boat, uh, we've got a big uh, 36 volt lithium battery running the electric motor. I couldn't be happier with my new weapon, this 7600 centre console behind me. Everything from Barra to Billfish. If you're looking for a boat that ticks all the boxes, go to the website yellowfinplateboats.com.au.